Welcome back to the Phantom Gourmet. I'm going to take you on a tour of a place my family and I have been visiting every summer for the past few years because it's fun and relaxing and it is definitely delicious. The Naswa Resort in Laconia, New Hampshire. So this is a hotel located right on Lake Winnipesaukee, just a short walk from Weir's Beach, and they have a couple of outstanding restaurants on site. There's an upscale eatery inside called Blue Bistro and a more casual beachside spot called the Naz Bar. And I'll show you some of the food and their legendary desserts in just a minute. But the Nazwa itself is such a great family-friendly place to visit. Whether you're gonna stay there for a week or you just wanna pull up your boat for lunch or dinner and grab one of their signature frozen drinks, it's been owned and operated by the Mattress family for almost 90 years and they are legends in the lakes region and they really know how to make their guests happy. So as for the food, let's start out with dinner at the Blue Bistro, a perfect place to unwind with a martini or a glass of wine. And Blue Bistro is definitely one of the most luxurious dining options in the whole region. I'd recommend starting with a salad, especially their twist on the caprese. This is the yellow tomato and burrata salad. The burrata cheese is just impossibly creamy and it's topped with some black garlic ricotta with a drizzle of sweet basil oil. I'm always a sucker for some dumplings. If they're on a menu, I'm gonna order them. And these do not disappoint. They're handmade pork dumplings. They're beautifully presented along with some veggies and the flavors really pop with the sweet soy. Now, whether you're in the mood for surf or turf, you are not gonna go wrong. And if you don't mind shelling out a few bucks, go for the twin stuffed lobster tails. This is New England seafood at its finest with two generous lobster tails served in the shell and they're stuffed with a homemade seafood stuffing that has shrimp and even more lobster inside of it. When it comes to steaks, I'm usually not a filet guy, but this is definitely an exception. The bacon and blue filet mignon is ridiculously tender. You don't wanna order it anything above medium rare. It's topped with a pile of Stilton blue cheese along with scalloped potato and some horseradish pork sauce. Okay, now I wanna show you dessert and I probably should have led with it because honestly, these might be some of the finest desserts in all of New Hampshire. They're so-called hope made desserts, not homemade, hope made. After Nazwa's culinary matriarch, Hope Macris, the carrot cake is a house favorite. It's very moist and flavorful and that icing is incredible. The signature dessert is the Tommy Bahama cake. It is six layers of white cake soaked in dark rum and in between each layer, there's pineapple and white chocolate mousse, all finished with some toasted coconut. Basically, it's like eating a pina colada and it's worth the drive here just for this cake alone. Okay, now let's head down by the water. The Naz Bar and Grill is one of the only restaurants I can think of where you can eat and drink with your toes in the sand. This is the ultimate beach bar. The frozen tropical drinks are always flying and you have some tasty food to go along with it. Just check out this massive plate of nachos. You got tri-colored tortilla chips, diced tomato, onions, olives, jalapenos, tons of Colby Jack cheese, and some sour cream and guacamole on the side. Maybe not great for my beach body, but it is certainly good for my soul. If I'm sitting by the beach, pretending like I'm in the Caribbean, I go for the coconut shrimp. You get five butterfly shrimp. They're fried in a super crispy coconut batter, and it comes with some mango salsa and tropical mango dipping sauce. A lot of the food at the Naz Bar is designed so you can eat it with one hand while you're holding a drink in the other hand, which is greatly appreciated. So the burger is always a good choice, especially the bacon cheeseburger made with Angus beef, applewood smoked bacon, and cheddar cheese on a toasted brioche bun, and it comes with some curly fries on the side. And of course, there's a lobster roll made with 100% fresh Maine lobster meat and just a touch of mayo on a nicely toasted artisan bun. Now just keep in mind the Nazwa Resort is seasonal. It's perfect for a visit in the summer and all winter long, I dream about the Tommy Bahama cake at the Blue Bistro and getting a margarita down by the beach at the Nazwa Resort. Mm -hmm.